It's time to put your name on a slip of paper and put it into the Goblet of Fire as we enter the Triwizarding Secrets brilliant event. Let's talk about it. I'm Professor Vokas, and this is Harry Potter Wizard Unite. Hello, Professor. I didn't see you there. This event starts January 12th, Tuesday, and goes through January 19th, the following Tuesday. Um, and it will start at 11 a.m. Pacific time, as it always does. And as you can see from the thumbnail and from the intro, it is revolving around the Triwizarding Tournament from the book, The Goblet of Fire. As per usual, there will be five new brilliant foundables and a new brilliant foundable page to put them on in the registry, in the event registry. Um, the first two being uh, Mad-Eye Moody's Eye and The Goblet of Fire. Both of these are gonna take 20 fragments to place the image down. And these are gonna be the purple beamed um, foundables that appear on the map throughout the whole um, Brilliant event, including week two as well, or part two, to a lesser extent. Next up is Flora Delacour, who is gonna come from um, Brilliant Port Keys. There will only be one type of port key. We had two the previous event, but there'll be one type of port key, just as a standard Brilliant Port Key. And Flora Delacour, it'll take five fragments. Now, keep in mind the port keys have a guaranteed drop of that fragment, so you'll just need to walk five of them if you want her. Barty Crouch Sr. will only take one fragment to place, and his fragment will actually come from the fourth set of tasks. When you finish it, you'll just be awarded that fragment. So there's nothing you have to do specifically to get him, except just completing the tasks themselves. And when you complete that fourth set, you'll be able to place his image, but don't. And we'll talk about that in a second. And last up is Victor Crumb. He'll be the fortress findable. It will take three fragments to place him. You would get him by placing brilliant runestones from this event in fortresses, complete the fortress, and then you have a chance to get the drop, which always ruins one. It's a 50% chance you'll get his fragment, all the way up to a dark five, where you'll get a 100% chance that his fragment would drop. And then in between, it just scales up. So run fortresses until you get enough fragments to place his image, but again, don't place it until the right time, which we will talk about. During the event, they of course will have some new bundles in Diagon Alley in the store that you can go purchase with coins, which cost you real money, or coins that you've gathered during the game itself, during gameplay. I mean, you can get 10 every day just from doing your dailies. Um, but there will also be a complimentary gift, which will have the ingredients for one tonic for trace detection, and then 25 spell energy, as per normal. Just make sure you go claim that, and it actually might become useful for the first set of tasks. Speaking of the first set of tasks, let's get right into the tasks themselves. Um, as always, the first one is to collect two ingredients or Portman 2 from the ground. Don't forget, energy always counts for that, and that's going to get you some Arumpet Horn. And here's what I was talking about. You need to brew two tonic for trace detection. It's going to get you two powder dragon claw. But by saying brew instead of use, it means you have to at least wait to the step to collect them. Those of you that know about this, bear with me for a moment. Those of you who don't know, to brew it, you do have to actually brew it, obviously, but this step only really requires that you collect it. So if you brewed this three days ago and just didn't collect it, if you collected it when you got to this step, it would count as brewing it. It's not counted as brewed until you actually get it. So first bit of advice um, is to go ahead and start brewing two of these and just have them ready to collect when the event begins. And when you collect them, you'll immediately meet this requirement. And the last thing you need to do for the first set of tasks is to return 12 brilliant Mad-Eye Moody's Eye, which is gonna get you um, two Invigoration Drafts. Once you complete all those, you can see at the bottom there, you're gonna get some um, Wizarding Experience, you're gonna get some um, Brilliant Family Experience, which goes into your Brilliant Registry page. And then more importantly, you're gonna get some Restricted Section Books, there's two of them, and some Spell Energy. One small side note, I don't mention this a lot, but on Reddit and Discord, I've seen a, a lot of posts of people just talking about just starting the game and that kind of thing. So this message real quickly is for them. These restricted section books are pretty much your rarest commodity right now because they're time gated. The only way to get them is events like this and other things. So there's only so many you can get per month. Generally, it ends up being 30. It's 15 for each brilliant event, part one and two. And recommendation generally is to go ahead and finish a profession. Become a professor or a magic zoologist and put them all on that. Your SOS tree has places you can spend them and your combat adversary tree has places you can spend them, but you can't do that until you complete a, a profession. So go ahead and I would say use them in the profession. There are maybe some rare instances when not, but I think the best advice is for you to use them for your profession 
go ahead and finish that out first. Keeping in mind that our imagizoologists will finish this a lot quicker than a professor, which I am, um, because professors, it just takes so many more restricted section books. So if you are gonna be a professor, it will be a longer haul before you will max out your profession and the combat adversary tree will open up for you. Moving on to the second set of tasks. The first one is to earn 7,000 wizarding experience from traces. Traces are the foundables on the map, and it's gonna get you one silver key, which helps you open port keys. But keep in mind, traces on the map, meaning you literally just have to return foundables. Placing the image down doesn't give you anything toward this goal. It gives you experience, but not toward this goal. Um, opening poor keys, that gives you experience, but that wouldn't count toward this. And ranking up with family experience gives you trunks, which awards you experience, and that doesn't count either. You just need to go out and return foundables. Next up is to collect five brilliant Triwizarding Secrets runes. It's gonna get you six snowdrop. The way you get those runes is in the registry, in the Brilliant Registry on your family page. As you gain brilliant family experience for this event, meaning returning the Mad-Eye Moody's, returning the Goblet of Fires, running fortresses and getting the Victor Crumb, and if you happen to walk port keys, you could get family experience for that. Every time you rank up, it gets you one runestone. So you need five rank ups. So my next bit of advice is don't open your registry, and this has been said many times, but do not open your registry at all until you get to this step. During the first set of tasks, you're going to return Mad-Eye Moody's, and at the end, you even get rewarded family experience. Those are all gonna get you rank ups in the event registry, and it might even have a red dot, and it wants you to go there. Just don't go there. Even more so is if Mad-Eye Moody, if you manage to fill up and get 20 of him, and you X out of that page. In other words, when you get 20 of it, it'll actually show you his page, and it'll there'll be an X like after the uh, reward screen. It's, if you're at max fragments, it's gonna, gonna want you to place that image. And it's gonna wanna take you to that page. And if you hit X at the bottom, you think you're just backing out. It used to say place image. It doesn't anymore. When you hit that X at the bottom of the screen, it just takes you to the registry and ranks you up immediately. And if you do that before you get to this step, it just means you're gonna have to grind out all five runestones at this step. And you don't wanna have to do that. The way to do that is depending on you have the iPhone or Samsung, Android, whatever, is just make sure you force close the game. So if you're an iPhone user like me, I'm just gonna do a, a slight swipe up to get it to the app to kind of be in the, the app uh, the queue, and then I'm just gonna force close it, meaning I'm just gonna swipe up and close the game and reopen it, and then it'll just be back to the normal screen, and it won't take me to the registry. The last thing you need for the second set of tasks is to use Brufio's Brain Elixir two times. It will get you one dark detector. Um, you go ahead and use the Brufio's, well you have to anyway, that's 7,000 experience from Traces, between even on one Brufios, you're probably gonna get that 7,000 because it's just gonna double all that stuff. So you gotta use two anyway, so not really a big deal. And if you complete all that, you'll of course get the rewards at the bottom, the main thing being those three restricted section books, which most people can use for something at the moment. There's gonna be a time when we run out of uses for them. Moving on to the third set of tasks, the first thing you have to do is return 15 Brilliant Goblet of Fire. It gets you two Dawdle Draft. Again, those are gonna be the purple beamed on the overworld map. Because you have to return these, you're gonna to have to run around and actually return foundables anyway. On the previous step, you had to use two Brufio's Brain Elixirs. I would maybe even wait and do the second Brufio's Brain Elixir as like the last thing you need to do so that you can just immediately finish those tasks and move to the third one with that Brufio still running. Not that you need experience that that's gonna help you with this, but you're gonna be grinding anyway, trying to get these, so you might as well be on a Rufio's while you do it and gain that experience. Unless, of course, you're max level, in which case this task is just silly. Next up is brew seven potions, any type, it doesn't even matter, and you get four snowdrop from that. You can start brewing these, really, as soon as you collect those two tonics, go ahead and start brewing four potions, and hopefully they'll finish before you get to this step, so you can collect those four right as you get here. Don't Remember, don't collect them prior, but collect those four, when you're on this step, that'll count as four, and then you just need to start three more and burn through those. Technically, you could rent a cauldron and brew three in that cauldron and have them ready to go and four in your main cauldron, and you could collect all seven all at once. And lastly, you just need to use five potions, any type in Wizarding Challenges. It's gonna get you three Toadstool, which you use to brew Brufios, which really doesn't help you at this point, but hey, I can always use more Toadstool because I'm not max level yet. Remember, those do have to be used in the Wizarding Challenge, at least that's when you need to pop it, but you could actually use 
use it right at the end of a wizarding challenge so that when you get back to the overworld map, you could still have that extimulo running if you're using extimulo. Just if you don't really want to use potions in uh, wizarding challenges, which I usually don't use them except for when tasks make me. If you finish all that, you'll get five restricted section books in addition to the other stuff. So this is kind of your bigger chunk of restricted section books at the end of this third set of tasks. Moving on to the fourth set of tasks has completely to do with wizarding challenges. The first thing you have to do is complete five wizarding challenges with three teammates or more. It gets you one spell book. And I'll add in my normal caveat on this particular task is that you count as one of the three people. So it says with three or more people, you and two other people do complete this. So a lot of times if I'm in a lower level chamber, and I'm trying to do this and two other people join me, I'll immediately hit join, hoping they'll join and we can just go in with three and just knock it out quicker. It's really more of a time thing instead of waiting for a fourth or fifth person. Second thing you need to do is defeat 25 foes in Wizarding Challenges. That gets you a spell book. You'll probably get most of them during those five challenges, but probably not all of them because you probably won't get five per, which means you can go back in and maybe do some solo. Uh, if you do like solo ruins two, that usually gets you two more foes and you could run through that. As soon as you get up to like ruins five, you'll get three or four guys. So it really just depends how much time, energy, how quickly you wanna go through. But just go back in solo and it's gonna go a lot quicker for that because you'll get to get every foe under your belt. And the last thing you need to do is to earn 5,000 wizarding experience from challenges. It's gonna get you two red spell books, which for me, these, these by the way, the spell books, this is the thing I need the most from this event because it's gonna help me with my combat adversary tree. But anyway, 5,000 wizarding experience, just get that. Again, I bet you get that, you get pretty close doing the five, depending on what level you do, and then having to go in and do those 25 foes. After that, you would just need to run enough to go ahead and build up to this 5,000, which gets us to a pretty big um, chunk of rewards, um, five restricted section books, five defense against dark arts books. This is when you get that fragment of Barty Crouch Sr., but do not place his image, nor should you have placed any images at this point. I haven't quite mentioned that, but I was kind of waiting till here. Don't place any images. So Mad-Eye Moody, oh, I've got 20 fragments. Don't place it. Goblet of Fire, I got 20 fragments. Don't place it. Other recommendation is to go ahead and get your Victor Crumb during this set of tasks. You're running fortresses anyway. Go ahead and use the Brilliant Runestones you have already to get the Victor Crumb, get three of him so that you can place his image. Your other option will have been to walk port keys up till this point, brilliant port keys, and try to have those five images of Flor Delacour ready to go to, or five fragments to place her image. Which brings us to the bonus tasks. After you finish those first four set of tasks, it'll say the event's over, just back out. It'll say, hey, you've got some bonus stuff, go back into your special assignments, and you'll see these bonus tasks right here. So the first thing you need to do is place five brilliant images in the Brilliant Great Hall registry page, which sometimes can be confusing because you see Brilliant Great Hall and you're like, what are they talking about? It is just the name of the registry page for the first part of this event. And then the second part will have its own thing. Anyway, if you do that, you're going to get one spell book, which woohoo, I'm excited about getting all these spell books for sure. I need them so badly. But anyway, the five brilliant images are those five foundables we just talked about before. And that's why I said having one of each of them coming into this step is, would be great. And I think even if you're stuck at home, you should probably be able to have four. Barty Crouch Sr., you just got that fragment. Mad-Eye Moody and the Goblet of Fire, you wouldn't have probably made it this far without getting at least 20 of them and don't place their images. And then Victor Crumb, just go and run the night bus and get those three fragments. Now the fifth one would be Flor de la Cor, which is the five port keys, which you may or may not have. If port keys are not um, available to you, meaning you're not able to get out and walk them because of just current restrictions in your area, then you'll probably need to go, well, you're going to need to go ahead and get one of the other four. My recommendation is always just get more rune stones, go back in the fortress and get three more and do a Victor Crumb, just place him again. You don't have to place five distinct images. It's just place five. So place the four, run fortresses, and then place Victor Crumb again. Keep in mind you have to place the images when you're on this step. So if you've placed them before now, it didn't count and you're going to have to place it again. Next up is earn 12,500 wizarding experience. It gets you a spell book. You'll get that while you're doing all the rest of these. So don't even focus on this one. Just do your normal thing and this will get met. We've got the standard win in your highest unlocked chamber, which for a lot of people is dark five now. It is going to get you a spell book. Um, again, just go run that chamber with whatever your highest chamber is. Newer players, it just literally means the highest chamber that it will actually, the game will actually allow you to 
to enter and fight against and stuff like that, which is always going to be one higher than the greatest one you've ever done prior, which is why when you do it, then it'll unlock the next one. So if you do enough of these events, you end up in dark five. Use 10 Extimulo potions, any type, so regular, strong, or potent in Wizarding Challenges. That's going to get you two Wit Sharpening potions. Um, there was a lot of debate on Reddit, or not debate, a lot of discussion on uh, Reddit and Discord about this, and a lot which I agreed with. And I think one of one of the the main pushes was make it where this is to use 10 of these, not just in challenges, but just use them, period. Because we have adversaries out now and we do need them for some adversaries, depending on what class you are and what uh, level you are really to be able to handle it and where you are on the combat adversary tree. So we're already using them, so we find that to be a good use, whereas in challenges, not so much, which is why it is frustrating that it has us use them in challenges, because even if we used it at the end of a challenge and then tried to engage an adversary, we're going to waste uses of it on, on the guards, the first two foes, before you get to the real adversary. So having it just use them in general would be really useful, and port key, you should get on that. And the last thing you're going to need to do to finish these bonus tasks is cast a great spell 25 times. Now, it varies, obviously, what spells people are good at. I, For me, Ibublio, which makes the E shape, is one I definitely have gotten good at. Maybe just because so many foundables have that, where, where I feel like I can get great casts doing that, at least. And Masterful, certainly. And you're in luck because the Goblet... Well, if, you, if you're like me, you're in luck because the Goblet of Fire and Mad-Eye Moody's Eye, both of them are the Abublio, and they're going to be spawning everywhere. So you do have them to be able to, to practice on, and you're just going to be casting that spell a lot. So this is your chance during this event to get good at that spell. I, should, I shouldn't say good. You can get great at that spell. And go ahead and get that 25 spell energy for completing this task. Once you finish all that, you're going to get all the stuff at the bottom, which the things of note, you're going to get Defense Against Dark Arts books, which is always nice, although you can grind them out with adversaries. But you're also going to get five fragments of Flor de la Cor. So if you can't walk port keys, you will still get to place the image. It'll just be after you've finished all the bonus tasks. They'll award them to you, and then you can go place your image, and you feel like you finished the page at least, which is nice. That is going to do it for this guide. I hope this helps you prepare and get through through this event. Um, mainly just have those two tonics ready. Don't look at your registry before the second set of tasks and don't place any images until you get to the bonus page. As always, thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys tomorrow. Knox.